Good morning, folks. We've got your solar rundown, severe weather, a deep earthquake, and science news for today. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last day bringing nothing but quiet in terms of solar flaring as the lone bright spot, the active region, sends his sunspot umbra to the limb for a trip round the far side of the sun. Goodbye, little guy. In the solar wind, we saw only a minor intensification, but it's definitely there starting about halfway through the chart with excess density and steadily rising plasma speed. Not causing any magnetic disruptions to Earth, but it's brought the KP index back up off the floor and the cosmic ray alert is over for now. As all of you but the newest viewers know, we track the interplanetary magnetic field connections from Earth to these coronal holes in order to track the ebb and flow of seismicity. Yesterday, the southern core turned through center longitudes and the transition zone of the mantle got active once again. Beneath Fiji, originally reported at 6.9, then downgraded to 6.7, luckily way deep underground. Folks, I want to share one of the best filmed airbound firefight videos I've ever seen. The position of the camera, the quality, the success of the firefight. Terrific video, link below. Massive waves pounded Tenerife of the Canary Islands yesterday. No casualties reported, but the third and fourth story balconies were wiped away. Up next, it's Vietnam. A cyclone popped up at the coast and is throwing moisture inland. When it hits the central mountainous regions, that's a recipe for flash flooding and landslides. A dozen fallen in Vietnam, at least. And of course, we have been seeing a continuation of the record cold, and it's forecast to continue frosting the U.S., at least the Northeast, through the Thanksgiving holiday. To kick off our science news, we're at Hubble for an aesthetic piece with a galaxy on the edge of the lensing zone taking the twist and stretch, but just barely. At first glance, this picture looks somewhat out of place here, right? Well, to follow the news from a few months ago about fish entanglement with Earth's magnetic field for a number of things, including navigation, we now hear about tail electricity production that pulses up to 80 times a second, sending back signals to receptors on the nose of the fish, electroreceptors. In what might be the hardest story to believe in my tenure on YouTube, half of Earth's annual rainfall occurs in the span of just 12 days, Probably one of the wildest studies and facts on precipitation I've ever seen, and they say the disparity is actually getting worse. Interesting bit about a 44,000-year cycle of Chile earthquakes. The last uptrend began around 40,000 years ago, they think, readying to peak out in megathrust uplift right around now, give or take a century or millennium or two. In a brilliant piece elucidating the admitted ignorance of honorable cosmologists, between dust, x-rays, discs, and spectroscopy, they are really in the guessing garden when it comes to understanding galactic nuclei. Nice to see it written. Interesting paper on a new kind of solar climate forcing. We know all about the wave absorption of the particles and the total vertical column effects via electromagnetic changes in the ionosphere, but here they are describing an ionosphere-stratosphere coupling with a quasi-biennial oscillation, leading into the sudden stratospheric warming events. And that is just slightly less cool than India's latest discovery. Two primary things are driving their massive weather patterns, galactic cosmic rays, which are modulated by the sun, and the El Nino Southern Oscillation at a one-year lag, which is the solar forcing lag on El Nino. Boy, that concept would have been fun for the little bit on India in our latest layman's textbook. You can become an expert in space weather, effects on climate, earthquakes, technology, and human health. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.